I'm eating a cookie and I'm about to talk about the cookie. The irony. Step into my office. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another VTalk video. Yay! Um, but yes, today we're gonna do another VTalk and I'm super excited about it because you guys are super excited about it. You guys requested that I do a favorites video, but centered around the V, the vagina. Basically, I'm just gonna tell you guys all about the products that I really love to use. And this is not by any means to say that any of these products are better than anything else on the market. So if you have suggestions, feel free to leave them below for your Victor sisters because we all need to be in tune and in sync with ourselves, okay? In the last video, I did talk about hygiene and self-care, what I do in the shower um, when I'm, you know, cleaning myself or preparing um, for activities. And I mentioned some products that I really like for that specifically. If you are caught up and you've watched all the others, you may hear some things or see some things in this video that you've already heard about. So first off, I'm gonna talk about stuff that I use for waxing. I made a video way back in like 2015, I wanna say, about waxing, talking all about my wax experience, my wax journey, why I wax, what I wax, all that good stuff. I do have one serum that I ever tried, and that is the EWC, European Wax Center, um, and that's where I go to get waxed very frequently. I go once a month. Use their ingrown serum. As you can see, it's literally almost gone. It does contain alpha hydroxy acid in it, AHA, which you guys know I've talked about in my skincare videos many, many times. Yeah, you can only get this from EWC, so you have to go to the European Wax Center and pick it up. I'm not sure if they sell it anywhere else, but I have talked about it a million times. You guys know I love this stuff. I don't really use anything else but this. The one thing that I found to be very helpful is shea butter. Um, this is the Shea Moisture Shea Butter. I swear by this stuff. It works really, really well for getting rid of dark spots. It also works well for many other things. Of course, if you know about shea butter, you wanna make sure you get the raw 100% shea butter. But I noticed that my, my dark spots did end up getting lighter with regular use. Definitely don't wanna have like too much product down there. But you know, just a little bit, just smooth it on after you get out of the shower. It'll rub off by the time you get out of the bed in the morning. It's not gonna do anything damaging. Plus it's all natural. I find it to be helpful. I don't know about you guys, but I think it works really, really well. Now I said in my last video that I don't moisturize because the kitty does not get dry okay but <laughs> there are a few products that I do use on the reg that do help with moisturization I didn't realize this until after I made the video and I was like oh wait I do kind of moisturize but not like intentionally it's like an accident I have a family friend who is the sweetest thing ever she makes her own body products and she sells them um, so you guys have probably heard me talk about cake before you've probably seen it on my channel they are vegan all natural, black owned, woman owned. I've talked about this scrub before on my channel earlier this year. It smells like sugar and cake, it's amazing. It only has these ingredients, cane sugar, coconut oil, avocado oil, and vanilla. Like I said, I do get waxed the whole thing. We don't get landing strips, triangles, no hearts, no moons, no star shapes. We get all of it removed, okay? So any part can get an ingrown. Scrubbing, obviously, using an exfoliator helps with that, but some scrubs do have like chemicals that you don't wanna put in that area. So a vegan scrub is probably your best bet, which is why I love this one. It's vegan, it's all natural, and because it is mostly sugar, it does taste good. We don't have any problems, big fella. It does have a very softening effect to the skin. So afterwards, I literally don't need to put on any other moisturizer or anything because my skin is left feeling so soft and soft. Yes, it makes my skin feel really soft and supple, so I don't have any issues with feeling dry after I scrub the mess out of my skin. Um, so I'm getting an exfoliation and a moisturization, two for deal. So yes, I do really love that scrub. You can use it all over the body. I use it on my lips, too. We use it for these lips and those lips, okay? <laughs> I just wanted to mention that she also has a body frosting. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. The buns! If you're having one of those nights, if you're gonna be on the slip and slide, your mans will appreciate it. Threw it out there, not gonna take it back. Anyways, <laughs> moving forward. Obviously, you guys know I love wipes. Oh my god, I, I saw this. <laughs> I saw this video on Instagram. Wipes. 
<laughs> Use them. Ew. <laughs> if I come to your house and you don't have wipes on deck, sweetie, your butt stinks. Oh, <laughs> why do I know this about you? <laughs> Listen, it's not up for debate either, okay? You don't like it, fight me. <laughs> you guys know I talked about the wipes in the last video that I liked. Right after I made the video, I ran out. And I wasn't going to go to the store and get more because I do have boxes and boxes and boxes of wipes in my house. Kid you not, I have a box in every room, a stash everywhere. Now, I love the down there. Um, the Good Wipes team was at my meet and greet in Atlanta and they gave out a bunch of wipes to all my victors. Good Wipes team, love you guys. I keep a box of these in my bathroom. I also have another box. They're all natural, no harsh ingredients, no harsh chemicals, pH balance, hypoallergenic, paraben free. This one is Shea and Cocoa. It has soothing aloe and vitamin E in it. Aloe vera is really good for dark spots too. I forgot to mention that. I do make sure to wipe myself down. Wipe me down. Shoulders, chest, pants, shoes. And also in my travel bag, I do carry a whole package of wipes right here. My mom gave me this. These are Savvy Travelers wipes and she got them from Amazon. Wipes for your hands, antibacterial wipes. They have wipes for your teeth and your mouth to clean your mouth. Deodorant wipes. And they have, um, you know, hoochie coochie wipes. These are called Bottoms Up and they literally smell like a martini. Smells so good, but I love those wipes too. So wipes are essential, essential. You want to be clean at all times. I don't know how many times I have to tell y'all. Last things I wanna talk about are for the period. That time of the month that we hate so much. You know, I don't know anybody who loves their period. If you love your period, you may need to hold an altar call at the end of this video lift your dirty hands but there are things that can help like I've said there are things that can help make you feel a little bit better a little more secure I have made a video all about this product if you want to know more about it if you want to know all the gritty and dirty details about this product now this is the soft cup I only have one left so um, this lets you know that I was not fibbing when I was talking about it that I did like it okay this is what the box looks like got mine from CVS this is what it looks like in the package. I'm not opening it because I need her for later. Do love this. This is my favorite way to protect myself during my period. I love these. I kid you not, anytime anyone asks me about this, I give them the whole spiel. Unfiltered, raw and uncut. You need this in your life. So I will be giving an update. I've got some stories to tell because I used this product for a whole year and I wanna talk about how my year went. That will be coming soon, stay tuned for that. If I don't have a soft cup on me, or if um, you know it's a little bit lighter, or even like for most of you guys in the comments last video, um, we're saying about you know just changing your underwear and all that stuff and how that isn't really like realistic to change your underwear three times a day. I didn't mean change your underwear three times a day. I meant change your underwear if necessary, if it's like an accident or like if you went and worked out and you're going somewhere after, don't wear the same underwear. You know what I mean? Like your underwear doesn't make it through the day every single day. You want to get some panty liners. And the only brand of pads and liners that I use is Cherish. Um, these are the Cherish pads. There are a lot of feminine products out there that do have chemicals in them which is not good for your vajay jay obviously so these are made um through a hands-free process the strictest hygiene standards available my only issue with liners and this is what I was explaining to people in the comments in the last video my only issue with liners is that i don't know about you guys but virginia likes to eat liners like it be folded up in the crevice like hanging up in there while I'm walking around and I'm like this is uncomfortable so I typically don't like to use liners for that reason but I know if I need one I need one so it doesn't hurt uh to have it on hand so I those are the only ones I do use that's it I hope that you guys enjoyed this if you did be sure to give me a thumbs up and let me know that you want to see more 